Yeah, I mean, today was pretty good, I'd say. I mean, I qualified third and came out first motor, got a good start, and was running third until two lap, or a lap and a half to go. And Lapper just kind of stopped my line. I just slammed right at the back and lost that. And then uh, crashed again, my, my, front, my front brake locked up, and then, uh, yeah, I got 10th. And came out second motor and tried to regroup, and I got another good start and ended up sixth. So, I mean, it wasn't my best, it was my best race so far, I can't uh, complain, but it would have been nice to get that third in the first moto. But yeah, it's been, a, it's been a good season. I mean, it's been up and down, and I think uh, I finally figured out my stars for the, for the last round. But uh, no, it's been good, and I'm happy with my uh, progression this season. I think we're going to be good in Super Cup, so. uh Day was overall pretty good, I would say. Uh, stepped it up compared to any of the races that I've done this year. Uh, eighth in the first moto, and running like probably ninth in the second moto. I had a big crash, but I love this track. I had so much fun. Felt like myself again. And just the track shaped up really good, it was rough, and a lot of fun. Uh, the season was okay, it uh, wasn't very long, but I had fun with it. Um, had some nice races at the end, excited to go into next season and get better and better and better, and you know, we'll just try and work hard from here and see what we can do next year. Yeah, my weekend wasn't uh, very good, um, just was pretty sick the past couple of days, and then uh, was sick today. and. Just felt really depleted out there with no energy and, you know, kind of, I fell the second moto, but just riding around where I shouldn't be and, um, but I finished both motos, which was good and, um, finished fourth overall in the season, which I'm happy with that, but I'm um, kind of disappointed on my, my day to finish off, but, um, you know, I think my body really needs some rest and recovery and pretty work and, um, yeah, I think uh, it was really good to finish all 29 races this year. That was a goal of mine, and I did it. But um, I definitely know uh, I need some rest and recovery for sure. That day sucked. It's <laughs> uh, tough coming off last weekend and going out and embarrassing myself today, but whatever. I just struggled all day long. I qualified outside of the top 10, and I honestly just wasn't that good today. I don't know. I physically didn't feel good. I didn't ride good, so somewhere in the top 10, I think, but nothing to uh, call home about, so not happy, so take a, take a little break here, and get back to work, get all my stuff figured out, man. I kind of go back to work time now, and maybe not physically, but trying to get everything else sorted out, so um, I had a, all in all, it was a good season. I learned a lot, I had some good finishes, I had some moments, I had some bad moments, I had some good moments, so. Uh, it's a solid off season, I'll be a front runner next year, so it's all good. Uh, weekend was alright, uh, qualified good. First moto I had a clutch issue. Um, I was making my way forward in the first moto and then uh, couldn't use the clutch for like four laps. Uh, went backwards quite a bit, but just kept pushing, got ninth in the second moto. Um, I gave it my all and just had nothing left in those three laps. Um, I literally left it all on the line and just finished eight, uh, nine, eight for eight. And not happy about it. Uh, the past three weeks have been full of ninths, tens, eights, and uh, one fifth. So uh, I want to be top five. And that's what I really want to end on. I would have been happy with that. But um, season was up and down. The broken hand, obviously, Glenn Helen put a, a hold to me. Um, got, had to miss a couple races, but uh, I recovered quick from that, and I have no issues with it now. So. Uh, Tied for 10th in points, which is, isn't bad for missing, I think, three or four races. Uh, I really wanted to be at every race, but uh, that's just uh, my fault for crashing. So, um, overall, it was fun. I had a good learning experience with Factory Honda. I got to ride a sweet bike all summer, so it couldn't be in, uh, any cooler than that. And also got to spend the summer in Florida with uh, my teammate Cole and, and Adam Cincerello. So, learned a lot from those guys. We rode every day and pushed each other. So. I'm going to take everything I learned this summer and bring it to next. Hey, this weekend, it's all I have to do is turn this hat around right there, hole number one. So, um, man, we, bummer part was we had to take it all the way to Moto 2, and that was not the plan at all. We uh, went out there, got the whole shot in Moto 1, and then had a little battle there with Hurlings, and um, we went on the outside, over jumped this triple, crashed have my clutch go down you know and it's just like man and then I go in there in the second moto where there's there's still a chance for those guys from Marvin and Blake to get it um, it was just it was it was a nightmare of, of, of emotions all day 
until we finally got across that line in Moto 2 and, and wrapped this thing up. I've, I've had enough up and downs this season that uh, it's nice for this one to, to come true. Uh, looking back at how this year's went, for the most part, a lot of good days, a couple rough times there. Uh, Glen Helen, yep. uh, last week wasn't the greatest, but overall, I mean, a lot to grow on, a lot to build on to go forward. A lot to grow on. It was. We had a few bad days, but a lot more consistency. You know, we got the wins in Supercross. Um, you know, in, in, in this outdoor season, I mean, it was, there was never one guy that was dominant the whole time. So that, that's what was tough is, I felt like we were we were better definitely earlier in the season compared to others, and then you know this last half was the, was the true battle. You know Marvin stepped it up, you know Blake stepped it up a few motos and um, put us to the test. Uh, these last few races, uh, especially those last two motos today, I can tell that it seemed like in that second one you're like, okay, I know I got the points. Was it just maintenance out there? Like don't mess up, don't. Second moto, yeah, it was like it was just we're gonna just finish this race that's basically what I had to do you know I had to get top 20 you know so uh, I would have had to done something pretty dumb to really blow it that bad so that, after that first moto excitement and the little crash I couldn't do that again so whatever that second moto what was I sixth or something the fifth I don't know what it was but um, got it done. All right season's over you have one more and then some time off uh, how's the time off looking what are you gonna do? Time off involves not jumping on an airplane and sitting at home. You know, for motocross guys, it's or compared to um, I don't know anyone else. Home time is vacation for us, so that's that's where my time's gonna be. Today, today was tough, really tough. Um, I woke up feeling extremely sick this morning. Uh, I've been fighting something for the past couple days, and honestly, I was laying in my bunk before the motos and not knowing how the heck I was going to line up even, so ended up being good though, going 4-4 four, for four, 4th. Four. Um, uh, so, that was good, um, but yeah, like I said, it was just hard just, uh, to push through that. And, I don't know, it's tough, man, but um, yeah, the year was the year was awesome. I mean, I, I think I steadily progressed the whole time and really found something that worked for me and uh, something that I was interested in trying again next year, so um, yeah, overall, great season. Uh, ended up fifth in points, which is kind of sweet for me. You know, like I've never really been considered an outdoor guy, so that's kind of a new, you know, stepping stone for me. But uh, and then obviously with designations, I'm super excited about that. So yeah, I'm struggling a little bit right now with the energy levels, but uh, super glad I lined up. You know, to go four four is like on it. And when I feel good, is an awesome day. So uh, just glad I hung it out there. It was, uh, today it was nice. I got on the podium at the last round. I saved it, best for last. Um, but no, it was actually really awesome. I was pumped to get on the podium and uh, ride to my full potential. I feel, I feel like I've been doing it the past two weekends. So to actually finally do really well doing it, hello, was actually very good. Um, but the season itself was good. I had a goal of being top 10 in points when we got done with everything, and I don't really know where I'm at, but I feel like I'm top 10 somewhere. Um, so that's good, man. I'm, I'm happy with it. It was kind of one of those building seasons for me, and then we'll come in next year and hopefully keep this momentum going. You know, be a podium guy, in the top five, and uh, try to get up there and battle for this thing. Um, yeah, I think t today was pretty good. Uh, I got two good starts and uh, went forward in the first moto past Zach and Jay Mark, like probably the fastest guys here, and I was feeling the intensity that first couple of laps. Felt really good. Felt really good that moto. Felt like I could have. Uh, probably brought it home if we get through some lappers as well and um, actually put a little bit of a uh, gap on Zach and then I, I made a mistake before the finish line and, and ran off the track and he passed me there and um, you know he rode really good he put in a couple sprint laps there and I ended up actually tipping over uh, on the top of the hill but I uh, felt really good about my ride there and then we made some suspension changes between motos probably went the wrong way um, you know it is what it is Zach was on rails today uh, there's no doubt about that he, he took me to school that second moto but uh, I think overall for the whole shot second moto that was good and um, you know everything fitness wise and you know body wise it felt really good today so uh, I think these last two races being on the podium you know getting my first win last week and then uh, feeling like I I left some on the table and going 2-2 I know some guys are hurt of course um, you know I'm not oblivious to that but 
uh, I felt good. I felt good today. Uh, unfortunately, a little late in the season for me, but um, overall, I think a year, you know, we won races indoors and out um, on the podium a decent amount, and um, I think for next year, it's kind of look at this year as my rookie year, honestly. Uh, you know, I basically raced outdoors last year, and this I mean, it's basically a complete reset for me. So I feel like we were um, good in terms of that. Felt like my mentality is back where it needs to be, uh, where I, you know, I know I belong up front, and uh, you know, the goal for 2018 is to, to have two championships on the door. Um, my weekend here in Indiana was uh, pretty much um, spot free. I mean, uh, I got off to two really good starts today and uh, went one one. It's an amazing feeling uh, to end an amazing season this way. And um, just, yeah, I don't really know what to say to be honest. I, uh, no words can really put it into perspective for me, so um, it was awesome. I, and the year as a whole, I mean, kind of couldn't go much better. Yeah, the year as a whole, um, if I had to fix one thing, it would be my starts and uh, have a lot less battling to do, but uh, at the same time, that was kind of where I made made my money this summer, so um, I can't be really uh, too pissed about it because it's, it's how I won the title, so um, yeah, all in all, it's been Looking back this time last year and knowing what changes your whole program and your life was going to go through, um, is, did you expect it would go the way it has? Did you figure that I there mean, would be some, some struggles or anything? Because for the most part, it was pretty successful. Yeah, you can't really expect it to go this way. I mean, it's two championships in one year. I think there's only eight. I saw a stat there's only eight riders ever to do that in a year in the lights class uh, ever. So can't expect that but I mean obviously this is the goal at the beginning of the season but at the same time it's tough to say oh yeah I'm going to just go out here and win two championships so a lot of work a lot of laps a lot of things have to go good um, so did, would, would this been a dream scenario yeah uh, was this what I expected probably not but uh, I can't really fault it all right big news uh, last week was your decision to go to the 450 class next summer yeah what spurred that um, it's time. I was going to go um, all year, but um, when I won the, the Supercross title, they preferred that I stay down uh, to run the number one plate. And I said, okay, if I can run for the outdoors, they were fine with that. So that was the direction it went. Um, my, year, my deal is for next year, 250 Supercross, 450 outdoors, and then a full 450 season in 19. Well, today, uh could have been a better day, especially after that mistake on the two laps to go on the second model. But overall, I'm really happy about my riding because um, on, during practice, uh, I was a little bit off and a couple of seconds back uh, on hurlings and even Tomac and Baggett. So not, not too happy about it. And But we got better, especially in that first model. We were able to get really good lap times. I think I had the fastest lap time of the race and being able to, uh, you know, battle with Jeffrey and be on his real wheel was uh, was something good, you know. He's he's really fast and really strong rider, so um, you know he was able to uh, to get a win, you know, and at, at the end, end of the first moto, but get second and second moto, I was able to lead the, pretty much the whole moto and and feel more co more comfortable with the bike on, on on the track, and we worked a little bit on the bike, and um, I was happy uh, until that that mistake and unfortunately a crash and gave away the win. Uh, Jeffrey was made a great comeback, obviously, to, to second place, and, and, and then when I crashed, he got he got around me. So, went 2-2 today. Um, but like I said, happy with the riding. Um, I knew it would have been huge luck on my side to win the championship today. So that's why. I just try to give my best and, and you know, at least try to get second place in the championship, which I did. So it's... Uh, how was the year as a whole? Uh, knee injury midway through, but a couple rough days where you had to nurse it, and then now you're all good, though, it seems. Yeah, it's been a crazy season. I mean, uh, second round in Glen Helen, I was able to win my very first uh, moto and, and my first overall in the 450 outdoors. So the year started off actually pretty good, even though I was not feeling as good as today, I would say. and. And then we had some uh, yeah issue with the knee and had really bad you know race in, in um, High Point, uh, even Muddy Creek, and we lost a lot of points. And, uh, but we came back you know week after week, even day after days you know getting better and, and, and stronger and 
yeah, we're able to uh, win six moto in a row at, at some point of the year, which was uh, you know exceptional and um, really happy about it. And get second overall in Bats Creek, get second overall here. So it's been a good end of the season. Uh, you know, we could have obviously done better, and but. Everybody could have done better, uh, I guess, but uh, that's, that's racing and uh, there's up and downs. And, but thanks to the Red Bull KTM team for uh, their effort and, and Frankie and Matilda, my wife, and you know all my sponsors, it's been um, it's been an incredible year and being able to win Supercross races and outdoor races and you know, third in the championship Supercross and second in outdoors. It's uh, it's a good year. Yeah, we had one day to prepare actually, so it was a very short amount of time, but it's been uh, pretty amazing. We're fastest in both practices and won both motors, so an upset, you know, we uh, we came here every once, so that's pretty amazing. There was a lot of debate between fans that you would have to adjust a lot to the how fast the schedule is here, a one day format, time practice, short time between motors. Did it phase you? Do you like it instead of it being so long in no, the GPs? I actually, actually like it. I mean, uh, the GPs is all Saturday, all Sunday, technical on Friday, so it's actually a pretty long weekend. While here, it's just like boom, 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 done, ready to go home. So actually, it's pretty good. Like, I, I really enjoyed my day. Uh, what was the prep like, the final decision for you guys to come? Did you have to ride a lot to figure out if you, the bike was going to be to your shooting uh, we, or what? We arrived in Florida on Tuesday night and then we did a little bit of riding on Wednesday because we had to fly Wednesday evening to us here if we wanted to do press day. So we actually just had like three or four hours to dial in the bike. I was like, you know, this is what I have, let's go racing. I mean, could have been better, probably yes, but it is what it is and the bike was good enough to win as you can see. Uh, the other big thing is you're riding with Alden this week. Yeah. Is that something you may do over the off season now, or is that just a one-time deal because you're here? Um, for the moment, it just because I'm, I'm here anyhow. Uh, I would say, I would say, will not happen, but most likely not because like the racing in America is so much different than in Europe, so it's a completely different thing. And the training, you have to, you know, you can't use the American intensity back home. The tracks are too different for that. So uh, I wouldn't say no, but for the moment, it's just one week. Uh, last question. Were you surprised at how well received you were by the fans? Sometimes European guys come and they don't have the warmest welcome, yeah. but everyone was really into you being here. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I mean, America was really amazing, so I enjoyed my weekend and it was absolutely amazing. Like, so many fans were supporting me, and I I came from that last, like, second motor to first. I mean, everybody was cheering, so that was, uh, not, I wouldn't say everybody, but a lot of people were cheering. That was nice.